All righty, let's do this. So we'll start with some warm ups. Let's start standing. You know, reach your arms up nice and tall, big stretch, and then hips go back, fall forward towards the floor. Keep your knees soft and we're just going to switch side to side, loosening up the lower back. Then you can either keep your hands on your shin sides or the floor. And we're going to bend one leg, straighten the other so that we're opening up the back of the leg. And have a Right, and then we're going to come down onto one knee, one leg in front. Tuck your hips under, drive forward just slightly, keeping the pelvis under, getting that big stretch through the hip. Then we're going to take the same arm as your back leg up and over. And then that big stretch of the hip down the arm. We're going to turn to palm into the right. We're going to grab the right side. Beautiful. And then we're going to shift all the way forward. We're going to go into a lunge rotation. And then bring your hands back to your foot. And then we're going to open up again. Rotate back to your foot. Feel the feeling that stretch through the hips as you can lift your arm as the side. Awesome, we're going to swap legs, so upper leg in front, tuck the hips under, and reach over, big stretch through the hip. Awesome. Yeah, and then drive forwards, hands to the floor. Going into a rotation and then back. Yeah. <laughs> and one more. Yeah. All right. And then we're going to set up on your knees. Take one leg out to the side. You're going to just try and get your foot flat. And then I'll do this on the side a little bit. I'm going to drive your hips back, feel a big stretch through the inner thighs, and come back forward. So the further back your tailbone goes, the deeper the stretch you'll feel through your inner thigh. Forward and back. Nice. Onto the other side. Awesome, fabulous. And then last little warm up, we'll do some big arm circles to the back. Full range of motion through those shoulder joints. Beautiful, and then we're going to come to the front now. Awesome. <laughs> Beautiful. All right, team. Let's get started. So today we're going to be going through triples. So three blocks, three exercises each, and three rounds each. Uh, it's going to be super fun. So. We've got uh, weighted options and non-weighted options, and I'm really excited because I get to use weights today. Because I'm back in the studio. Alrighty, so I'll show you our first block. We're going to start with legs. First exercise is a split squat. So we're in a nice long lunge position, keeping our back leg relatively straight. We're driving our front knee forward and over our toes. So really working that quad and booty on the front leg. We can do 10 of those, and then we're going to go straight into 10 back leg lunges. So we'll do that on one leg, then we go to the other leg. 
Once we've done both legs, we're going to come into sumo squats with the knees pressing out, coming it down. Um, cool, so we're going to do 15 of those. So that is our first block. If you've got weights, definitely feel free to add those into it. Um, we're going to get started. Is that just what I've seen you have done? Awesome. Yes, if you want to do instead of a split squat, you want to do a single leg squat to your couch. And then instead of the reverse one, you can do a single leg deadlift. Alrighty, let's jump into it. So, starting with our split squat. Upward into the toes on that back leg. Three, two, and one. Let's do it. Ten, nine. So, drive that knee forwards. Eight, seven, six. And one, we're going to stay in our lunge position, back leg drops down, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, nice. All right, setting up on our other leg, split squat first, three, Two and one, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And one, beautiful back leg. <laughs> Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice. All righty, sumo squat position. We're going to do 15 reps. Toes pointing out, knees driving out. Three, two, and one. One, two, and then as deep as you can. Beautiful. Yeah. Nice. Eight to go. Press those knees out, drive the booty back. Eight, 
to upper body. So we've got three exercises again. We've got 
weighted and non-weighted options. So our first exercise is a push press if you have weights. So for our push press, we hold our weights in our shoulders, engage your core, our knees kick forward a little bit, and we use that momentum to press overhead. Drive and press. If you do not have any weight, then you're going to go into plank shoulder tap in this stead for the time that it takes us to do those push press. <clears throat> Exercise two is a dumbbell clean if you've got those weights at home. So for our clean, I'll put slow mo. Dumbbell to by your side. Hips shift back into a mini deadlift. Then jump, pull those weights up and over to our shoulders. So hips drive back. Jump and land. If you do not have weights, then you're going to do a squat jump in this step. So 10 reps for that instead. And then our last exercise is a bent over row, pulling the elbows back, squeezing the your shoulder blade. If you don't have weight, you're going to come onto your stomach, create a bunny shape. Onto your arms, elbows tucked in, and then you're going to lift your chest, squeeze your shoulder blades, and come back down. So think about those elbows driving up towards the sky as you lift. How do you do it? All right. That was tough to demonstrate. It's really tough to do it. Let's get set up. So push press or shoulder tap. We're doing. 10 reps for push press, probably around 20 for your shoulder taps. All right, three, two, and one. 10, nine, control on the way down. Eight, keep that core nice and tight. Big kick through, use the momentum of your body. Yeah. Beautiful. Four, Three, two, one, nine. Whew. All right, into 10 cleans or squat jumps. All right, three, two, and one. Keep going back, jump, and tap the soft feet. Nine, eight. Into our 
clean on the floor, squat jump. Three, two, and one. Back, drive.
So you do 20 of those, nice and controlled. And then our last exercise is reverse crunch. So hands underneath your hip, bent leg in a little easier, straight leg is a little harder. We're going to lift our lower hips off the floor and then come back down. Straight leg, you want to focus on going up towards the roof rather than swimming towards you like this. So think about the hips going up rather than towards the roof. All righty, those are our three exercises for the last block. We're going to do three rounds and then we're done. All righty, so starting with our skaters. Get ready. Three, two, and one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, get nice and low. Nine, ten, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo, beautiful. All right, Russian twist. Twenty, nice and controlled. Feet on the floor or feet up. Three, two. And one, let's go. One, two, nice and slow. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Squeeze those shoulders. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One. Woo, nice. All right, reverse crunch. 20 reps. Lying on your back, hands to the side or underneath your hips. Doesn't matter how high your hip lifts up as long as you feel it. All right, three, two, and one. One, two, three, four. Five, try not to let your legs swing. Keep those legs nice and steady. Always pointing to the sky. Halfway. Awesome. Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. And palm those knees in whenever you're ready. Beautiful. All right. Standing up. Two more rounds here. Okay. Getting ready for our skater jumps or just no jumping. All right. Starting in three, two, and one. Side to side, getting low. Awesome. Halfway. Beautiful. Three, two, one. Awesome. All right into those Russian twists. If you're somewhere in between feet on the floor and feet in the air, you can do a single leg lift. Make it harder, but not too hard. All right, let's go. One, 20 reps, nice and controlled. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, swap legs if you're doing that single leg. Beautiful. Five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Woo, nice. All right, reverse front. Hands underneath your hips. Legs up. Down in the hand. Three, two, and one. 20 reps. 
Thanks so much for joining me today. Hope you're as sweaty as I am.